Okay, and namaste. I'm Zay with Iksu Yoga, and welcome to the final day of seven days of yoga for the new year. Yesterday, we explored our third eye, and today we move our way up to the crown. So just like yesterday's flow, we're gonna be seated most of this practice. Make sure to make any adjustments or modifications necessary for your body. Let's get into the flow. To the flow. <laughs> Let's begin by coming into an easy seat. If you start to feel any pain or pressure on the knees, you can move between an easy seat or sitting on the heels. Okay. And while here, you can bring the thumb and the index finger together, resting the hands on top of the knees. Or you can just allow the hands to stack, bringing them towards the feet. As you inhale, feeling the energy move from the earth all the way into the crown. As you exhale, release. Taking deep intentional breath. Feeling the crown connect with the divine with each exhale. On your next inhale, sending the arms above the shoulders, interlacing the fingers, keeping the fingers, the pointer fingers pointed, and extending upward. Feeling in your spirit, feeling in your body that you are a vessel. <sighs> a couple more breaths here. Breathing in through the root, into the fingertips, and exhale out of the fingertips. Inhale, extend. Exhale, slowly lowering the tops of the hands towards the earth. You can grab onto the knees or onto the ankles or feet and rotate the top of the head in either direction. Also rotating the shoulders and the chest. And now rolling in the other direction. Tucking the chin into the chest, the hips forward. <laughs> Inhale, sending the chest forward and the crown back. Doing this a couple times at your own pace. Really slowing down each movement with the breath. Last one. One deep inhale. And exhale, let it all go. Inhale, rolling back, 
into a neutral spine. Maybe stretching the knees and the feet out. And windshield wiping the knees. You can even rotate the ankles. So from here, we're gonna get some energy flowing to the crown, bringing the bottoms of the feet together. And we're gonna come into a butterfly pose with a fold. So bring the heels in as much as you can. You're gonna interlace the fingers, bringing them underneath the feet, interlacing the thumbs on top of the big toes, allowing the shoulders to internally draw back as you extend the top of the head allowing the knees to lower with each exhale extending the spine upward as you inhale and as you exhale tucking the chin into the chest drawing the shoulders back as the top of the head moves towards the toes pulling on the bottoms of the feet to help curl the spine and resting here, not going too far past your threshold, but just listening to the body, acknowledging its limitations. And only when you're ready, moving past your threshold. Feeling your vital energy move from the root all the way into the crown. Inhale, slowly rolling the body back into a neutral spine. Pulling the chest forward and the crown back. Exhale, release, extending the legs out in front of you. And windshield wiping the knees from left to right, and opening the hips. As you do this, you can also reach over the body. From here, let's take about a minute or two in the tabletop on our hands and knees, moving between a cat cow and some spinal rotations. Just getting the spine moving, the top of the head moving, doing a upper body stretch, making sure you're focusing on the alignment, shoulders and the wrists, hips on top of the knees. And just taking a moment to move out the body, however you would like. Some other suggestions are rotating the shoulders back and rotating them forward. Just taking your time with yourself.
Turning into a neutral tabletop, we're gonna extend the arms forward, walking the hands out in front of us, internally rotating the shoulders, and allowing the chest to gravitate towards the earth. Extending the top of the head forward. Maybe bringing the top of the head towards the sky. And inhale, folding into a cobra. Pressing the hips towards the surface, extending the top of the head upward. And gently pressing back into a child's pose. Maybe while here extending the arms out in front of you or you can rest on the tops of the hands. Massaging the third eye. hands come out to the side of the head. And when you're ready, we're gonna press forward and coming onto the top of the head, rolling onto the back, using the hands as support. Exhale, rocking back into a child's pose, drawing the top of the head upward. Exhale, rocking forward. Inhale, rocking back. Doing this a couple more times at your own pace. Inhale. Tucking the chin into the chest as you roll the body up into a neutral spine. Sending the chest forward and the crown back. Rotating the neck, the shoulders, the hips. And reverse. So we're gonna come into our final pose. We're gonna come into a squat, <sighs> making our way there. And you know, here, still being gentle with yourself, being gentle with your body. We're going to tap into the connection of the earth and the divine. Just moving the heels out as far as you need to or close to the hips as you need to. The toes point outward. You're gonna bring the hands together. Use the elbows to press into the insides of the knees and as you do this, the hips start to shift forward. You can make any adjustments to the feet. <sighs> Inhaling through the root. Exhaling out of the crown. Maybe gently closing the eyes. Pressing into the palms to help extend the knees outward just a tad bit more. As you stay here, keeping the hips forward, you can slowly begin to bring the hands towards the sky. Sinking the hips for a couple breaths. <sighs> Exhale.
exhale, release, pressing the palms into the surface, rotating the toes forward and folding. And grab onto the elbows. You can also place the hands underneath the feet. Inhale, halfway lift, rolling up. And exhale, fold. Connect into the hands, lowering onto the knees and folding over the knees. You can rest on the tops of the hands. You can sway the hips from left to right, or you can press the palms into the surface and moving out the shoulders in a serpent-like motion. Tucking the chin into the chest, slowly rolling back, moving the chest forward and the crown towards the toes. Exhale, tucking the chin into the chest, the hips forward. And slowly rolling back into a neutral spine. So you can take the next five to 10 minutes to flow however you would like. I'm gonna suggest another video for you to continue your practice. Thank you so much for showing up all seven days. I truly appreciate you. And only when you're ready, let's come into a comfortable seat. While here, you can place the thumb and the index finger together, resting them on the tops of the knees or the thighs. You can also place one hand on the heart, the other on the solar space. Taking deep inhales through the nose and out of the nose. Regulating your breathing, being intentional with your breath. Taking this practice with you anywhere you go any time of the day. Thank you so much for showing up all seven days and for being present in this space and allowing me to guide you through this beautiful practice. So thankful. And until next time, Namaste.